Bonjour Francais toi. Aujourd'hui, on va réviser les adjectifs, euh, surtout les verbes et les adjectifs qui sont très irréguliers. Voilà, qu'est-ce que c'est un adjectif? Hopefully this is review, something that describes a noun or pronoun. We need to remember that adjectives have to agree. We have to change the spelling uh, to match the gender and number of what we are talking about. In the dictionary, remember, you are always going to find the masculine spelling of an adjective. So we always want to make the adjective feminine first if necessary. In order to do so, we add an E. Diligent, par exemple, ça devient diligente. If it already ends in an E, we don't have to worry about a thing. Un garçon timide, une fille timide, c'est la même. Il n'y a pas de différence. We have a ton of adjectives that don't follow the rules, and that is the focus for us right now. So, on commence avec adjectives that end in EUX, they change to EUSE. Généreux, ça devient généreuse. We also have adjectives that end in IF, they change to IV, sportif, sportive. Some adjectives double their last consonant, particularly ends. So, bon becomes bonne, mignon, mignonne, musicien, musicienne, canadien, canadienne. Notice it's I-E-N. Um, adjectives that end in A-I-N do not double that consonant. Like, américain would not, but the I-E-N ones do. Other double consonants are E-L adjectives, like ponctuel, ponctuel. Naturel, naturel, intellectuel, intellectuel. Some adjectives, when we add the E, we also have to add an accent grave. These adjectives generally end in ET or in ER. So, discret becomes discrète. Secret, secrète. Cher, cher. Premier, première. So notice it goes from a uh, discret, we don't really pronounce that T at all, an A sounding E to an ET. So discret, discret, secret, secret. So that's all about making something feminine. When I want to make it plural, remember our basic rule, add an S. Bavard, bavard. But we don't pronounce it. And again, if it already ends in an S or an X, stays the same. En chagri, des chagri. You always want to make sure you make the adjective feminine first. Ladies first. Now here are some adjectives that are irregular in the plural form. All right, if it ends in al, it changes to aux. But this is only in the masculine form. So genial for great becomes genio if I have something that's masculine plural. All right, if I want to make it feminine plural, remember, you make it feminine first. So, genial, feminine, and then add the S for the plural. So, you only have to worry about this in the masculine plural form. All right, we have some crazy adjectives that we need to talk about. We've got the adjective beau. So, hopefully by now we've seen this enough that you recognize masculine singular. Add an X for the plural. Beau becomes belle in the feminine. We have not talked about this form too much, bell. All right, this is before a masculine noun that starts with a vowel. Um, so let's look at beau in action. We've got un beau costume, that's your masculine singular. We have un bel ampère, so we can avoid the o oh, ampère, that like pause. Une belle veste, feminine singular. Des beaux costumes, des beaux ampères. Bring this up because it's not irregular in its spelling, but when you pronounce it, that X slides into the I and makes a Z sound. It's called a liaison. Des beaux en pair. And then we have de belle veste. All right, this day is going to change to de anytime we have a plural banged adjective. All right, here are three more adjectives that work exactly like beau. You've got nouveau. Add the X for masculine plural. Nouvelle. Nouvelle. Here's your form before the vowel sound if it's masculine. Only have to worry about that if it's masculine. Vieux, 
And via, no difference masculine, singular, or plural, because it already ends in an X. Via is your feminine singular and your feminine plural. And then you have your via form before the vowel masculine. Very strange. Um, so just a reminder, where do these adjectives go? Well, normally after the noun. Watch your Francaise, des amis, bavard. It's backwards. Um, article, noun, adjective. But our bangs adjectives, they go before. Remember that stands for beauty, age, number, goodness, and size. So you have bon joli for beauty, vieux, nouveau, and jeune for age, bon mauvais for goodness, and then grand petit for size. Number literally just means numbers like un, deux, trois, or deuxième, troisième, your ordinal numbers. Um, so here they are in action. Remember these go before the noun. And we just mentioned that de, de becomes de when you have a bangs adjective. So une grande voiture, a big car. So then de bon ami. Um, this day changes to de. Kind of think of it as like you're already trying to jam so much before the noun. So take away the s. Give some more space for that adjective. So here it is in action. De, remember, means some. So tu as de vieilles joues. Do you have any old skirts? Or some? J'ai de nouveaux poules. I have some new sweaters. Aren't you jelly? Wow! Ça c'est beaucoup avec les adjectifs. Remember to take your time. Look at what's going on. Listen. Say it to yourself. You know, listen for the sounds that need to change. Feminine first, then plural. And you will be A-OK. -okay. Au revoir.